welcome to my channel in this video i will show you new forces group nodes and two fall off nodes and these group nodes are also going to work for planet 2.8 but in this video i will show you these group nodes in blender 2.79 so you can download the updated version of the jugard particle system for blender 2.79 and blender 2.80 and when you download the blend file then they going to have these new forces so all these group nodes uh, forces group nodes have similar structure and they have all the common parameters are same and they have same color so for example this axis forces group node has velocity then velocity mix fall off and then the velocity so this velocity input parameter is like when you add these forces in a series then it then this velocity is from the previous group node for uh, group node and you can control the effect of this velocity based on this parameter uh, based on this velocity mix parameter but if you are using only single group node then this velocity is the velocity of the particles so this fall off is control the effect of this force and this is the value of or the strength of the this force and some of the group nodes needs a uh, object like a meter object or a empty object and other than that they have the same inputs means fall off strength velocity and velocity mix parameters so these two are the uh, mesh fall off this group node is mesh mesh fall off based on the mesh surface and this follow uh, this mesh fall off is based on the volume of the mesh means inside the volume it's going to one and outside the volume the mesh fa uh, fall off value is zero and this is with respect to the surface of the mesh so so i keep the structure and the color same so it is easy for for you to use them and identify the these forces group nodes in your node tree and now these are very simple it's like a drag and drop a nodes like other nodes so i'll show you one example for the vertex force which i had showed in my previous videos but with this internal node setup but now you have this uh, this single group node and this few parameters to control them and it is like spiral in and spiral out is controlled by this one single group node okay in the example i will show you how to mix them in a series but i will provide a blend file which show you how to mix them in a parallel so let us get start okay this is okay first i will show you the previous vertex force okay this is our this is the previous uh, vertex or curl force based on the velocity and they have this uh, node tree to achieve this effect now we going to use only this single vertex group node to achieve that effect okay so first we need a meter object i am going to add a circle
okay and now i'm going to also increase it is size a little bit and then add a particle system okay turn off the gravity and also add some random velocity initially because otherwise because animation nodes update the this node tree means this particle locations or particle velocity on each frame so when we not add this normal and random velocity then particles going to meet in a in a means in a stacked or in a regular fashions so to overcome that problem we have to add this velocity but we going to eliminate that velocity in the in the this uh, with the animation nodes okay if we need particle input group node okay select the emitter object which is circle and also on this cache so if i play this then it's going to look like this okay now we're going to add this vertex force so go and add this vertex force into this sub program go to sub program and then add this vertex force so connect the location to the location Velo uh, this velocity to the velocity and now we need an empty object so to specify the center of the this vertex force so i'm going to add a simple plain axis empty object then select the empty object another node we need is the particle output node so enable the velocity connect the velocity to the velocity and this active particle system to the active particle system here i make the velocity zero okay so whatever the velocity which we have set in the this particle settings like this normal and random velocity it's not going to take into account by this vertex force see we have this particles in a vertex okay i'm also going to enable the this color of the particle based on the velocity and then increase the number of particles so we can see the effect so for now you only need these these three nodes to achieve the effect so let's make the this vertex force inward means now it's going spirally out we going to make spirally in so change this circulation to less than is to a small value see it's going in also going to decrease the strength and and this is the like its name spirally spiral or radial follow if you make this and this become radial radially inward and if you make this one and then it become spiral so this is the basically overall fall of the this vertex force also going to increase the particle lifetime and 
let me change the strength so we can see the color okay so so see it's very simple now to use these group nodes so now you need only three nodes to make uh, this vertex force effect okay now i'm going to add this mesh fall off and okay first we're going to use this mesh volume so we need a mesh object let's add this cube and then we're going to use mesh input node select the cube make this mesh connection and location of the particle to the location and this fall off to the vertex force fall off you can control any fall off i'm going to control the vertex force fall off so as i said this mesh volume means fall off inside this mesh is one and outside this mesh is zero so that's why there is no vertex force effect so we can invert the this fall off and make it one outside and zero inside this mesh and see it make the vertex force effect zero inside this mesh okay now now i'll show you another fall off which is mesh fall off based on mesh surface so this is means this fall off is one near to this mesh otherwise it is zero so we're going to make one everywhere but zero near to the surface as i made for mesh volume fall off see come near to zero near to the this mesh surface so you can use any surface to make this mesh fall off and for splines you have already you have this spline fall off now you have mesh fall off okay now i will show you how to add these forces in a series and we're going to add a random force so go to sub program and search for random force group node and then make this connection this velocity to the velocity and this velocity to the this output node now if i play we have only the random velocity of the particles the reason is this vertex this velocity mix parameter is zero if i make it one then it going to take the effect of the this velocity from the vertex force group node so we can decrease the this randomness this random force we have spiral and random force together and then you can adjust this scale or seed value or we can make something like this we can make means outside we have spiral and this velocity uh, force effect and inside this cube we have random uh, random force so just connect this fall off to this and this fall off see outside we have only spiral uh, velocity uh, this vertex force and near to this surface we have uh, this random force and inside that 
means away from the surface which is inside this cube we have again vertex force and if I change this fall off to volume then we are going to have only random force inside this cube but spiral outside this cube so with these group nodes with these forces group node you can make many complex simulations particle simulation and this group node covers the forces like force we have central force then wind vertex force turbulence drag and curve guide force ne i have to update this but it's already in the group node and then texture and all these and the other forces are remaining like magnetic harmonics and other these forces are remaining but i am going to add these forces in the future so so that's it you can download the this example and this updated in jugard particle system for blender 2.8 and uh, for blender 2.79 and for blender 2.8 so feel free to tag me if you make something really cool with these group nodes and you can follow me on twitter or instagram if you have any suggestion or query you can ask me in the comment sections or on on my social media account and please do support me and like this video so that other people can see this and subscribe to my channel for more updates until next time happy noding bye